Okay, we are back. Today, we are going to cover a few things all at once, and I wanted to show you a class that I hadn't shown you yet. This is a pet class. This is my alt with Renth. She is a coercer, which is a mage, a magician, or a magician. This character has a pet. Actually, has a pet and a mercenary. If you look down here, it says, I want you to, like you to meet Pinky. Pinky is Warren's Earthen Avatar. A coercer gets four types of pets, uh, water, fire, earth, and air. Uh, I prefer the earth for most battles because they hit very hard. Um, coercers, like most magicians, are pretty squishy. I also happen to have a Merc Mercenary that I got uh, as part of one of my loyalty rewards. Um, every month you get 500 in game coins that you can spend on whatever you want um, in the marketplace, which is not in the game itself. It's it's, uh, it's what used to be Sony's and is now Daybreak's, you know, microtransaction area. And one of the best things that you can buy, don't mind me, I've got things going on here, um, is mercenaries. Um, and the one, nice thing about those mercenaries is the ones opposed to the ones that you can generally buy in the game is that you often have a chance of getting a rare or elite merc, and that's what this mercenary is. This is my Archon Mercury mercenary. It's a healer. Um, he also happens to be an incredible tank. So between Pinky and this merc, I can kind of blaze through things. So that's one thing I wanted to show you. If you ever play and you want to access the marketplace, if you look at your lower right, you'll see a shopping cart, and if you click on it, this is the marketplace, and if you look, you'll see it says all access redeem 500 daybreak points. It says click here. It's grayed out because I've already used it this month, and it tells me the next time it'll be available is on July 9th in just a couple of days. But you can buy all sorts of things in here. The only ones I would ever recommend buying other than just fun stuff is experience potions because the higher you get, naturally, the harder it is to get experience. That's the price you pay. Uh, I'm actually buying a heightened status potion right now with my Daybreak Clash. I happen to have about, looks like 43,000, so I have plenty. So I'm going to buy one of these potions, and the reason is because I'm in the middle of doing what are known as status quests, uh, in addition to getting experience for yourself. Personally, when you're in a guild, um, status is very, very useful because you need it in part to pay rent for your guild hall. Um, you don't really need status if you're not in a guild so much. Um, there are certain in-game items that you can only buy with status, but frankly, I never really found one that I thought was worth it. But certainly when you're in a guild hall and you have a guild hall to maintain, status is required. And one of the easiest ways to get status is to do status quests, which are offered by... Um, particular mob NPCs in the city, but when you have a guild hall, you can also get an amenity to that guild hall, which is a writ grantor, and you can get all the writs straight from there, and you don't have to do anything in the city. Okay, so now, I was in the process of my job for that particular quest for the House of Falling Stars was to hunt 13 young wyverns, and I've just been kind of wandering around, and if you look in the upper left, you'll see I've gotten, I finished that quest, I got my reward, and I get city token, which we've talked about, I think, before, but those are things you can, you know, that's also in-game currency, you can buy certain things, a lot of what people use those for are things like in-house crafting stations, so if you don't have a guild hall, for example, you can still buy them and put them in your house. Um, you'll see that I got 10,496 status points for my guild. Every time you earn status, your guild automatically gets an additional 10%. So if you look here in the chat window, let me make this a little bigger. I'll unlock this just a bit. Make this a little bigger so you can see it. You'll see that it says that I got... 10,496 status, same as here, but then it said afterward, your guild has received 1,049. Um, that status doesn't go to paying the rent. The status that the guild gets from your work goes to leveling your guild. The guild that I'm in is actually a guild called Carpet Crustalorum. It's a guild of alts that we formed a long, long time ago. Um, 
most of us are inactive now, but there's a bunch of us still. And you'll see that the guild is level 56. The higher your level guild, the more amenities you can have in your guild house. Uh, so I have been working because the next bump up where I'll get three additional amenities, amenities for the house that I can buy is at level 60. So I've been working on those. Um, so that's questing. And as you can see, again, just in case I didn't know, uh, it told me that I completed this writ and I earned status for my guild. The other thing it did is it adjusted faction. We haven't talked much about faction, and I'm going to not do too much about it other than to say that faction fundamentally is your relationship with various um, cultures and environments in the game. So that's it in a nutshell, but let's go ahead and do another quest because I think I have quite a few that I have to work on here. And in fact, I do. I have to go kill some miners. So I'm looking on my map. You'll see, if you recall, on the map when you have an active quest that is up here, they will highlight where in the map you need to go. And it's much easier than Q1 that way where you kind of just have to figure out where you're going. But this is where we need to go is these ore miners. So I'm going to click there. And you recall when you do that in Q2, you get a path. I don't feel like fighting my way all the way through, so I'm just going to lift off on my flying wyvern. This girl too has one um, that she earned from a quest in the Great Divide, uh, like most of my characters did at this point, because she's a little older. She says that she's level 70. She's actually not. She's level 90, but as we discussed in another video, one of the nice things you can do in NQ2 is that you can reduce your level, whether to hunt with a friend or to um, go back and finish quests or do quests that you missed because you leveled too fast and they grayed out on you. Gray quests don't give any experience or loot, so you don't want to do that. Mentoring is the nice way to catch up. Don't mind me. I think I mentioned I tend to harvest everything because I make a fair amount of plat in the in-game marketplace by selling resources. A lot of people are in such a hurry to do leveling and quests and named mobs that they don't bother to harvest and they don't have the skills build up. Oh! That nice announcement in the middle means that somebody in the on this server just got an epic weapon. Now you see, I've got this person in my way here, this hulking brute. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can avoid him. Maybe he'll get ahead of me. If not, we may end up fighting. But we're on our way to these ore miners, which I have to kill 13 of them. If you look at the right, it says, for the Tenarian Alliance, I need to kill the 13 Regesium ore miners. Now, these, the nice thing about these quests, uh, which may also make them boring at some point, is that they are repeatable. So if you're trying to, for example, purposefully level your guild, which I am right now, um, you just keep doing them over and over again until you get bored or until you get the amount of status you need. The more members in the house that are doing status quests or getting status through other types of ways, there are certain individual quests that also give status, um, the faster you level your house. Right now, I think the max level for a guild is 110. Um, I, they'll probably raise it again just because recently EQ2 made, raised the max level of a player to 120. Uh, don't mind, we're, gonna, we're going through this tunnel because that's how you have to get to this area that I need to go. You see the path, as mentioned, the path. Remember? The question marks on the ground are collectible items. You want those. Those give you both, when you turn them in, significant experience, and sometimes some really fun stuff, some good loot. Oh. What's nice about when you have a quest of any type, type an EQ2, and for a particular kind of NPC, there will be this nice little feather there so that you can help distinguish. Now, that doesn't mean you won't have to kill other things. Usually, quite when, especially when you're coming in areas that are close like this, you're going to have to just kill everything. But just kill everything is a great way to get to experience, and I do it anyway. So we're just going to rush through here because the combination of Pinky and Typhon is pretty incredible. And these 
NPCs, these miners are only blue to me. So I'm just gonna actually basically, I could stand here. Um, and this will be a good opportunity. I'll show you how you can, when you're a pet class with Nifty, is that if you want, you don't have to do anything other than send in your pets. Ooh, I got a rare item. This is a rare harvest. They sell for a lot in the in-game marketplace uh, to other players, but they also are quite useful when you want to make really nice, higher end, higher statistics type of gear. Now, I didn't have this Dzok on my list, but he was in the way. He had to die. Have some more. Let's see if I can maybe get another one of those. In case I haven't mentioned, I am a pack rat, so I don't sell everything. I actually, because I have so many alts after all these years playing, because I like to play, learn at least a little bit about most classes. Um, so my characters, I can trick them out um, and in gear that they otherwise likely would not be able to get on their own uh, just hunting. Um, in MMORPGs, there's actually a name for that where a lower level character is wearing armor and, and equipment and has weapons that there's no way they could have gotten in. That's called twinking, as in twinking, but it's twinking with an NJ. Alright, so these guys are going down pretty fast. In fact, I'm, they're going down so fast, I'm going to actually just use one of scope between all three and just stand here. And you can see that Pinky and Tynum, a Typhon are pretty fierce. I'm very pleased with them. And these are the kinds of things that you have to help you. Now, before I go too much further, I'm going to... Oh, okay, there's a couple more here. You don't necessarily want to waste your time. Because I actually, today, have a number of quests. I still have to do quests for the Canals Guard and the Concordium. For status, because today is a status experience day for me. Because it's time to pay the guild hall rent. Stand him. Oh, I know what I want to show you. I wanted to show you how it works, or how you can work it. If all you want to do is just send in your pet. So, what I'm gonna, when you want to send in your pet, you just, well, I have to, he aggroed on me, so I didn't have that chance. But you'll see that the pets just went in, and depending on how you have them set up, like in the behaviors, you remember we talked about pet, I have Typhon, assisting and protecting me, which is if something attacks me, he defends. If I attack something, he assists me. Pinky is set up the same way to automatically assist whenever I attack somebody. I don't, you know, and he, he's protecting me, he's protecting himself, he's protecting everybody. But, so now I have a, actually a little more room, I can show this a little more easily. I have to just get in line of sight. Line of sight is also very important in these games. But, See that miner that's got the arrow that I'm targeting? I'm just going to tell Pinky to attack and tell Typhon to attack. And that's one of the nice things about pet classes. Meanwhile, I can just sit here and have some iced tea or something while I'm waiting. Looks like we have some more, so let's just let the pets do their job. You know, this Pinky is in there throwing things, you know, rocks since he's an earth pet. Ooh, I automatically mounted my wyvern. What that means is I'm heading toward the outside again. Normally inside you cannot wear them, you cannot ride them out. So, but when you're in a zone that's probably on the outside, you can't. I finished that quest. I got another city token. I got another 10,496 status points. So that is status quests in a nutshell. And we also managed to cover a completely different subject. Pet classes. So, bye for now.